I need your help. I need your help with something. I need some feedback from you. I've been running this channel since 2021, almost three full years now. And I've loved it. I've loved every second of it. That's not true. I haven't loved every second of it. There have been times where I was going too hard and I was trying to do too much. And it was a long stretch where I didn't enjoy this. I didn't like it at all. I was doing all the planning, all the building, all the editing. I was doing everything by myself until I brought my team into the picture. And shout out to Maddie and Tespi because they are incredible. Every video that you see on the channel from the titles and the descriptions, the thumbnail, the the scripts that I read everything is planned out all the demos that have, are built since January of this year have been built by my team and it just helped our production process so much we build pipeline of ideas and then they bring the ideas to me and we go through them and they think through the different key topics and this is feedback that comes from the channel comes from our different groups online comes from our customers comes from real interactions and we're building videos and use cases based off of those things and thank Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and giving us your feedback. It's helped so much, but I need feedback from you because I feel like I'm at a point right now where I feel like I've done everything that I can. I haven't learned as much as I can. There's so much more that I can learn, but I've done all the things that I feel I need to do to grow a channel, to show up here, to give value. I've read books. I've taken courses, I've watched videos, I've worked on my lighting and my gear. I have this new office here. I love this office. It's a big bright window. I got my key light. I got some stuff back there. I still have some decorating to do. I'm gonna put a couch back there and stuff. Two buddy thing, we do the vidIQ thing. We're A-B testing our titles and our descriptions and our thumbnails. And I will say this, that YouTube has changed my business for the better. It is our number one driver for leads and new opportunities for Surface. So this is not me complaining or, or, or whining or, or anything like that. I'm so thankful for what this is. But any feedback from you because I receive comments quite often on various videos that say, I love your content. Going through this content has helped me get a job. I was watching your videos as I was interviewing. People who work at Asana have watched my videos and use that to prep for their interviews at Asana. People have watched my videos and they've rolled this out for their company. Um, I've helped them with school projects. I've helped them organize their life and so many just positive comments and experiences that are coming from this channel. And again, I'm just so thankful for all of that. And there are other comments that say like, man, you should have way more followers than you do or way more, way more subscribers than you do. Why don't you have millions? Your views are, are low and they are, they are low. And I don't know why, I, I don't know why. And that's, that's the feedback that that I need from you. We're creating videos on use cases. We've tested different lengths of time for the videos. They used to be really long. I used to ramble on for like seven minutes before I even got to the content. You told me nicely that I need to just like wrap it up and get to the demo. So now like my intros are 15 seconds maybe, and then I get right into the demo. I'm still getting lots of good, you know, feedback and questions coming from the videos, but what are my videos missing? So that's the big question. What am I missing when we release a video and it's, you know, an hour, two hours, we're looking at the stats, we're looking at what's happening, we're looking at the watch time, and we feel like it's just plateaued a little bit. People are dropping off, the views are lower than they've ever been. I mean, there are certain videos like, you know, my. Uh, project management video or the Asana basics video from 2022 and 2024 that are doing well. But there's there are the use cases that I'm building for what we know to be our ideal customer and that is marketing business leaders and their teams. So we're, we're doing a lot of use case demos around that. Oftentimes I'll throw in some personal stuff, how to manage like ops teams and PMO and if you're in leadership. And so again, we're getting all these topics from the audience, but something's missing. So I need your help to understand how we can take our videos and our platform and make it more valuable for you. That's what I really want to understand. I want to know that when we release a video, we send it out through email, we send it out through LinkedIn. It's on my personal LinkedIn, it's on Services Company LinkedIn. We're putting it out to the two Facebook groups that I manage on the Asanaverse and Asana Solutions on Facebook. I'm putting it in our LinkedIn group as well, the Asana product community. I'm putting it in our private community on Circle called the System Builder Academy. It's being shared to Reddit. I'm sending the videos to people at Asana and I'm doing all the things again that I feel we need to. We're, we're creating two sets of, of, of thumbnails. I'm doing all the things that all the books and all the courses are saying to do, but the growth has just been 
very slow and I'm in this for the long game. This is not me saying, you know, I'm on my giving it one last ditch effort that I'm in this for the long haul, right? I'll keep making videos because I, I do truly love this. And we've seen growth over the years. We're at over 7,000 subscribers right now. Um, I remember when we hit the 5,000 milestone, that was incredible. And so like we're on our way, right? Like I'm not complaining, but the reason I'm asking is because I don't want to keep doing this if it's not value. I don't want to keep doing the wrong things, the things that people aren't asking for. Um, I want to maximize value. I want to help you be able to help your teams. I want to help you understand the tool better. One thing that we are doing, we're going to be announcing some new partnerships. I mean, I can say it here, but we, we recently partnered with Fellow. Fellow is a meeting agenda app and we use it for all of our meetings here at Surface. It plugs into um, Google Meet and to Zoom. And I'm going to be doing a full video on that. I'm going to start creating content for Fellow. We use Fellow's co-pilot to do all of our recordings of our calls and take AI notes and summaries and action items. And it's an incredible tool. And I can't wait to start talking about that on this channel because that's one thing we want to do. We want to expand. We want to, yeah, Asana will always be the core, but we want to talk about the different apps and the programs that integrate with Asana that we use. Another one that we're looking at is HelpKit. A lot of you know that I use Notion and HelpKit is the front end GUI, if you will. It sits on top of Notion where it allows you to have a really nice, aesthetically pleasing, well-designed uh, knowledge base for all of your knowledge docs and help docs. And so we're going to be sharing more content around that. We're also talking with PageProof, another partner that integrates with Asana for, again, marketing teams, legal teams, operations teams, even leadership to proof images, documents, videos, everything like that, because we want to be able to bring in more content and show you different ways that you can integrate and use these tools with your Asana. So we're expanding. And I'm hoping that by doing that, it'll show people just the, the flexibility of the tool and what is actually possible. And so again, I need your help. Going to be here for a long time, but I want to make sure that I'm spending my time doing the right types of things. So let me know, throw it in the comments, send me an email. What do you like about the channel? What, what brought you here? What made you hit that subscribe button? And what don't you like? What don't you like about the channel? What did I used to do? that I don't do anymore, they want me to bring back. I mean, we've had segments like office hours and you know, what's new in Asana. We, t we try to do that monthly. I'm recording one of those next week for May and June because I missed one, but yeah, what do you want to see on the channel? Like this is this is for you. I'm, I'm showing up for you. You're sitting on your couch right now. You're commuting to work. You're on your lunch break and you're just watching videos or, you know, your boss isn't in the office today. So you're just taking a little bit of a breather. W whatever you're doing right now, like let me know how I can make this more impactful. You, How I can make this channel more impactful for you? Our mission at Surface is to eliminate workplace burnout by enabling leaders and their teams to work better together. And so that's what this channel is about. How can I help you work better together with the people in your team? I'd love to hear that. And if you haven't already, subscribe. And if you've been listening to this rant the whole time and you're still here, congratulations. If you don't know who I am, my name is Marquis. I'm a CEO at Surface. We are a systems improvement consultancy and we are Asana partners. And I make videos not like this one, but I make uh, demos and tutorials every week and show up to uh, help you get the most out of your, your tech investments. And so, yeah, I've never made a video like this before. For, but I, I want to hear from you, which is why I'm taking this approach. So let me know what you think. Leave a comment, send an email, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.